Now we'll take a look at two examples of multiplying fractions that contain variables. We'll approach this in the same way as if there weren't variables, except we'll expand the variable factors. Which means to simplify this before we multiply, we're going to write everything out in prime factored form to identify the common factors between any numerator and any denominator that would simplify to 1. Since 12 is equal to 4 times 3 and 4 is equal to 2 times 2, the prime factorization of 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3, but x to the fifth means we have five factors of x, which will expand. Thirteen is prime. Two is prime. The prime factorization of nine is three times three, and x to the third would be three factors of x. Now we'll identify the common factors between any numerator and any denominator. So here we have a common factor of three, which would simplify to one. Notice we also have three factors of x in common, which would simplify to one. So x over x simplifies to one, x over x simplifies to one, and x over x simplifies to one. Now that we've identified all of the common factors between the numerators and denominators, this product will be in simplest form. So in our numerator, we'll have two times two times two, that's eight, Notice how we also have two factors of x, which would be x squared. And the denominator would be 13 times 3, which is equal to 39. This would be our product. Let's take a look at our second example. Notice here we have a negative times a negative, so this product must be positive. Let's write everything in prime factored form and expand our variables. So for the first fraction, we'll have 3, because 3 is prime, and then four factors of a for a to the fourth. The prime factorization of four would be two times two. We have one factor of b times another negative fraction. The prime factorization of 14 would be two times seven. b squared, we have two factors of b. Prime factorization of 15 would be three times five, followed by one factor of a. And now we're gonna simplify before we multiply. Here we have three over three, which simplifies to one. And we also have two over two that simplifies to one. And now let's look at our variables. We have a common factor of a here and here. We also have a common factor of b here and here. So now we can multiply. Again, we know this product will be positive. In the numerator, we have one factor of seven, three factors of a, so we have a to the third, and then we also have one factor of b. And the denominator would be two times five, which is equal to 10. So this is our product in simplest form.